Hello, Hello Floss, Floss Tube. Tube. We, we are Show Me the Stitchers. Stitchers. I'm Tina. And I'm Terry. Hello. <laughs> Happy New Year. Oh, yes, definitely. Happy New Year. So, so you, you went back to school. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's all right. So We uh, started one of my most favorite things to to do every year. We started that yesterday. So, sorry. Phone's ringing. <laughs> so that'll be nice to get to do one of my most favorite things. Good. So we'll work on that for a couple of months. So Good. Yeah. We start our books next week. Yeah. So how was your trip? Oh, my trip was great. Um, airport wasn't bad. The airplane was not crowded. It wasn't anything like it normally is. Uh, my son was there to pick me up, and uh, he got there about the time the luggage got there. I got to meet my new little granddaughter. She's Yay. so precious. Um, so fun. We didn't get to, we didn't really do anything. We went to the falls one day, and you're outside the entire time. Everybody was masked. We stayed there about 20, 30 minutes. It was really cold, and then water's misting on you the entire time, so oh. that makes it even more cold. Right. And we drove around Seattle a bit. I got to see the Space Needle from a distance, but other than that, we just hung out at the house and played and ate good food and um, just hung out. Good. So it was good. a nice visit, and I'm perfectly content to do that. Yes. Just hang out and play with the baby, and she... Um, Learned how to climb the stairs while I was there. And, uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> that could be bad. Yeah. We had a good Christmas too. We went to our daughter's on Christmas Eve, spent the night there, drove to my son's on Christmas Day, spent the night in Springfield. We took Sadie. That was fun. <laughs> Joe's dog, Nadia, did not like Sadie in there. Oh. apartment and that's her space yeah so she's she did good when she was here and but because that's not her space because it's not her space yeah. yes but she was she was all right she'll adapt sadie's still new to her yeah, yeah. she is yeah. but sadie did good yeah so we sadie's, survived it sadie's a wild woman i haven't seen her for a while <laughs> <laughs> she was in trouble this morning she would not listen when we oh, walked so baby. I was not very happy with her, so mm -hmm. I made, I put her in the house while I finished my walk. So, so, what have you been up to? Oh, mostly I've been repair, repairing, preparing for the retreat. So, it has been, um, I kind of go in what's most important. We mm -hmm. finished third Saturday sampler before Christmas, and so now I'm focusing on the retreat, plus I have teaching a class this weekend so I'm preparing for that but I'm excited for retreat <laughs> I am too I'm looking forward to it so we'll have a lot of new people there this time oh good so that'll be fun good 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 and I've been I have been doing a little bit of cross stitch at night so I've been doing a lot of cross stitching so catching up on some quilting stuff I finally got the quilt that's been on my frame for three weeks off finished um, quilted not just yes. taken off <laughs> it's well it's not bound you know how i am yeah they pile yeah. up like uh, oh. this before i bind them but yes it's um quilted folded up ready the binding's even ready i just haven't put it on you know worked on finished all my third saturday blocks well all the ones that i was supposed to do now i think i have to do extras for the setting and there then, were a lot of extras that were yeah. not yeah. within the the chapter as we went along. Yeah, so. I finished. I caught up on my socialites. I haven't even started and mine. And <laughs> I caught up on Shine Here's On. my notebook. <laughs> so I'm all caught up on like block of the month kind of stuff until more stuff comes in. Okay. Nebula starts this month, so I will have more than one going at once. Oh. I'll probably have five going at once. Oh, I'm crazy. I, I need to get caught up on a lot of those, but... That may happen after the retreat. And a UFO so, due next month. That's true. I'm doing... I have three lists. I could <laughs> easily do three lists, but I... One list is one. just... All I need to do is the binding on them. And I had enough for a whole list. Oh, I'm not so, that bad. <laughs> and then the other two, 
they need to be quilted. I could do a whole list of just quilt tops that need to be quilted. Oh, I could do several yeah. lists. Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. But anyway. So, what have you been working on with cross stitch? Oh my. A lot. Like, seriously, a lot. So this I've become obsessed with, I, and I'm not kidding, obsessed. It started off as, I'm only going to stitch this in the morning for about 30 minutes, and most, well, every morning for about 30 minutes, and then some nights, like last night, I was like, I want to work on it again, and I'm going to work on it again. It's, uh, fur, it's cold outside. It's a Brenda Gervais. That is so cute. Isn't that cute? And I am getting really close to a finish on this. If I can fold some of that fabric in. So. Oh, that is cute. He is so cute. I have to finish the snow down here. Oop. And then there's another snowman. And then some snowflakes and some back stitching. And this one will be done. Yay. So this will be done by the time we... Um, record the next time. This red and coral and white part of this snowman took forever. That's quite a bit. Well, yeah, there's, there's a lot of, of color changes and stitches. So. Yeah. But isn't it so cute? It is cute. So this one. And I didn't even take this one with me. I was going to, but I didn't. So that's that one. I did take this one with me. I don't like your bag. Went to Rose Manor, and I did buy the panel. I did not get the instructions, so I just kind of winged it on my own. I, I like it. I've made a, a bag before. I could make a bag without the direction, so mine may not look the way it's supposed to. But, but I, I like it. I took this I with like me. It. I tried to stitch on the plane, and I just really didn't feel like I had enough light. And there was a lot of turbulence. No. Oh. More on the way there than on the way home, but still a lot of turbulence. So, mm -hmm. and I didn't want to mess things up. But I worked on this a lot while I was gone. This is the one I need a consultation on. <laughs> so, oh, I didn't show the chart. Sorry about that. There's the chart. I'm sure lots of people have seen this one. I like that one. And, oops, and it's, it's on the floor. the floor. So, there it is. Got a lot wow. of it done. I have some fill-in left on the border. And I started working on the house. And I feel like this conch is just way too light. And it's supposed to be a pink house. Oh. So I'm contemplating pulling that yeah, out. Yeah, I didn't even notice it. Didn't yeah. Pointed it out. And um, changing the colors. Lori Holt said on her floss tube the other day that she changed it to perfect pie crust. Her background color is similar to mine, mm -hmm. so I ordered a skein of it to try, and I have a light pink. I brought it with me, and I thought about the, it's a DMC 963, so mm. I thought about that too, maybe. Yeah. So, but other than that, it's pretty much the called for. It's called called for. Those are pretty. So, making progress on this. I'm very happy with that. I, I took this with me and worked on it. I took this one in my January truck with me and did not work on my January truck. I just wasn't feeling it. I wanted to do this. And yeah. So, that's pretty much what I did. I did finish one other little tiny ornament that I had with me, but I left it at home. No. Oh, I forgot it. So, yesterday, or this... Sunday. This is my Sunday stitch. It is Snow Village. Did I show this the last time? I don't remember. I don't think so. Okay, so I don't remember it. The goal is to do one of these a month and have mm. it all done hopefully by Christmas. So month one is not peppermint parlor. It gets on the bottom. Yeah, the snowflake stand. So that one is done. And then Sunday, I started Peppermint Parlor. Just oh, that's make, cute. Make a mess in your floor here. That's okay. Nice. We'll clean it up later. So, here is what I have done on those two. So, I don't really want to fold that too much because then you're going to miss it. So, I did all of that on Peppermint Parlor on Sunday. Wow. 
I just got that going and didn't want to stop. And that was after spending four hours making a feather uh -oh. star block. I'm never making that again, by the way. <laughs> Don't ask me to. One and done. <laughs> One and done. New Year's Eve start. Oh, I got a space needle key charm at the airport. Oh, cool. I don't know when I'm going to work on this one again, but it's it's going to happen. It is the Coming to America. It's a long skinny piece, and I've already picked where this is going to go in my house in a year or two when I get this done, because that's how long it feels like it's going to take. It may go fast because there's a lot of words. Yeah, and I'm doing it on 14 count ADA, so mine's actually going to be probably bigger than you had a clip ball. So the norm. Pick that up later. But there's what I have done. The top border and the little dove. I wanted to at least get a start on it. Yeah. So that's only half of the fabric. The yeah. Other half's <laughs> folded up. It's very so big. Very big. I have a long skinny wall in the den that's hard to hang anything there because oh. it's a skinny area. Mm -hmm. And that's this will fit there. I like that bag. Oh, and I ordered the bag on this one too. I like that. And made that. Oh. And oh, I was about to fall out of the chair. New Year's Day start. I ordered this bag too. The well, the panel, and then made the bag. So it's so cute, cute. Anniversaries of the heart. I did not want to stop working on this one, but I did because I had other things I had to do and. This is 16 count Ada, which is a little bit harder to... This is probably only my second time working on 16 count, so... And this fabric is really rough. Oh, it is. So it's hard to hold on to it very long, but look where I was holding on. Feel where I was is it holding. Softer? It's softer. Yeah. So I just, I think I need to just keep handling it and <laughs> scrunching it up and maybe it'll get better. But there's the start on that. I had the... This border done, discovered I made a mistake and had to rip all of this out. Oh no. And restitch it. Oh no. <laughs> and I debated it. I was only off one square, one stitch. And I'm like, can I fudge it? I can fudge it. So I kept going. And then I'm like, <laughs> oh, wait a minute. There's more that's going to go on here. That means I have to fudge everything underneath it yes and I decided I didn't want to fudge everything underneath it yeah, so I don't blame you I uh, stopped this roof of the house was going to be a different color I grabbed the wrong uh, floss and didn't realize it till I was almost done and I thought you know what I actually like it this color I'm gonna leave it this color I like it so and this is gonna end up almost matching the color of my house actually oh, wow. so um, wow, I like that. I think that's a good deal. So that's the only thing that I have actually stitched, other than some finishes, I believe. Let me double check. Yes. So what have you been stitching? Well, I had some new starts. So I needed new starts like I needed a hole in the head. Oh, me too. <laughs> this one... Let me see here. I had started it on, I had two of these fabrics. I'm not sure if this is the fabric. Oh, here it is. So. I need to get back to that one. You're going to finish yours before I get back to mine. I haven't worked on mine very much. I did, I, um, Quilter's Cottage. I have the kit to make the quilt for this, but I'd like to start at the retreat. So cute. So I started it on this fabric. That's the fabric I hate. And I did, started with the fence, and you can kind of see it, but it did, just didn't show up. That's the problem I had with that fabric. I even tried the, this, I, I think this was Ecru. And then I, this little line right here was um, the bright white. The, the B5200. 5200, yeah. Still didn't like it. So I said, forget it. I'm going to, I had this fabric. Oops. <laughs> Don't like <blast> at me. <laughs> 
that. We usually is... have a table here, and there's yeah. no table here, so it's like... That is a really pretty blue. I thought it would show up better. And I... This is on a brown, and I just didn't want it on a brown. I wanted it on the blue. Yeah. So. I think mine's on a brown. This is how far I have gotten. I started this... I started this Christmas Eve at our daughter's house. And so we were watching a movie, so I had my halo lamp sitting by me so I could see it, the other fabric. And then I think it was New Year's I start restarted, or New Year's Eve. You have a ton done. So I did get so quite a bit done. Cute. That blue is so much better. The picket fence on this fabric went a lot faster than on the other fabric because I could see it better. see it, yeah. I forgot how much I got. Yeah, those little that. ornaments that I forgot to bring, I did on that blue Ada, and I ended up using Ekaru, and from a distance you can't see it. Yeah. They're up on my wall on that one clippy thingy, mm -hmm. but unless you get really close, you can't see it. And then this was my Christmas start. I love that one. I've been wanting to do this one for I think I quite have some time. That, yes, I have that one. I just haven't started it. So I started with all of the the borders, and then I started on the houses. Cute. Are you gonna change any of the house colors, or are you gonna leave them? I think I'm gonna leave them. Yeah, they call for DMCs. Mm -hmm. And one of these lines, I had done um, all of these going all the way down. Had it all done. I'd already done these across. I started on this one going down. And some somehow, like this one, I got off one because um. it didn't come out right here. And I didn't realize it till I was down here. <laughs> And so I started taking out. I don't think I had done the top one. I think I just started down here. And I took out the wrong one. <laughs> so I did put it too. back in. <laughs> then I took out the ones that were incorrect. So I would have been a whole, I probably would have had two houses done by now. As much as I double and triple check, you think I would not make as many mistakes as I do. Okay. And... This one I started night before last. It's Long May She Wave. I love that one. Another one I've been wanting to start for a while. Yeah, I need to get some patriotic stuff done. Yeah. I just wanted a start. So I started it. That's I have a start. I have the grass at the bottom. I decided I'm going to do the truck first, but I have to get to the truck. <laughs> Instead of all the stuff out around it. So I started that two nights ago. Ooh, shiny. I worked on this one last night. This has a lot of color changes. It's huge. I, I don't know when I bought this. I had even bought the fabric, but had never started it. So it is called Oh Holy Night Nativity. That's crazy. And I am working in, I started in the middle, so I'm like right in here working, right above this sheet. And this is a huge piece of fabric. That's pretty. Don't ask me where I got it. Don't ask me what it is. I have no idea. But there is my start. I started this before Christmas, but I did work on it. But here's how big the fabric is. <laughs> it's huge. It's pretty. It's shiny. It is shiny. Shiny and glittery. I did work on Tinkerbell a little bit. I figured out where she had left off in the on the chart, and I just I'm not gonna show that one until it's done because I don't want to take it off of the scroll rods. Yeah. And then I, we did go to Cecilia Sampler in Branson. Oh, yeah. And I text Tina and said, Oh, you got me floss. What floss do you need? <laughs> so, yes, I think they're in here. So we'll have to figure it out. So I had a piece of fabric that I had bought.
four. This is my angels. This one is, this one's the spring angel. And I ended up ordering the other, I had the spring and summer, and I ordered the winter and fall angels. So I started working on, I decided to start on the winter angel since it's winter. Take this out so you can see. So there she is. Spring. And I only had one piece of fabric. So I'm at Cecilia's. I looked for more fabric. And this is linen. I know I want I want to try linen. I but I'm kind of scared. Be scared. Okay. <laughs> I need a magnifier for 14 count. I know. <laughs> yeah, I had a magnifier for this too. Because the color of thread that I'm using is very close. And I think it goes this way. So I do have a little bit of a start. Can you see that? Wow. Right here. I will de would definitely. What count is this? 32 count. And this one is, so you're doing one, two over two. Two over two. This is a 32 count smoky pearl. Is it's what so this is. pretty. The other I had. It feels good. It feels like almost um, kind of silky and soft at the same time. Yeah, this is the other that I had. And it's, um, it was the called for. I don't remember what the called for is. But I they all, do not Twilight Blue. It's, that's supposed to be twilight blue. <laughs> oh, okay. And it, I or this one is, not see holes. it is really difficult. Mm -hmm. But once I got started, I kind of got into a rhythm. Somebody said on a floss tube that I was watching, it's like you have to train your eye. Yes. Like once you do it for a while, your eyes adjust to it. Yes. You have to train. You just have to yeah. stick it out initially. Yep. Maybe this summer when I have more time. So some of these are yours. Okay. But I had I needed some I needed some Valdani for a project I'm working on, so I got two things of Valdani. I have some blue things. And then I think yours were the week's dye works. Yes. And I think I know the gold leaf and the, the wood rose is and mine. the wood rose. Yeah, and you need to tell me what I owe you. Too. I have no idea. <laughs> so these are Tina's. They all go for winter rose banner. So we'll figure that out later. And then I got this for my project I needed, also. That's pretty. So these were. Well, I needed a a gold in the Valdani, and they didn't have any, so I. I got this. I've suited that one. I tried so. to sign up for one of the clubs on Bad Quarter Shop to kind of build up a fancy floss stash, and mm -hmm. they're full. So of course, maybe one day. Maybe one day. Yeah, one of these days. Well, and then I got a. You click on the notify me, so I got an email that it was available. By the time I got the email and got on the website, it wasn't available anymore. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to be faster. You gotta be fast. <laughs> you gotta be fast. So. So that was, I think I started my angel New Year's Day. Yes, I started my angel New Year's Day. I didn't want to start anything on, around Christmas since I was not going to be home. I, you know, I didn't want to drag a whole bunch of stuff with me other than right. what I was already dragging. So yeah. I took an entire suitcase with Christmas presents. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I'm like... Two bags fly free? Why not, right? Right, right. So, um, right. so that's why I did a New Year's Eve and a New Year's Day. Okay. Because I didn't start one at Christmas. Yeah. So. so, finishes? Do you have any finishes? I left four finishes at home. So you can show them next time. I was doing the Christmas Carol Stitchy Book Club thing, and I stopped after part two part three released i'm not super fond of these colors 
but I was going to persevere through. Well, then when part three came out and it was a lot bigger and a lot of words and all of that color, I was like, Ooh, you don't think I can do this. <laughs> so I did up to part two and just made a cute little pillow. I am not very good at I, This is my second pillow. No, third pillow I made. So I like that. I'm still learning. I want to learn how to put like Rick Rack or something around the edges of oh, them. Oh, yeah. So I want to do this again. This is an easy stitch, but with different colors uh -huh. and do the whole thing because I like the quote on the outside on the, the third part. And then there were two or three other smalls. One was Bahumbug. Um, I don't remember. And I want to make those too. So, I mean, there's more that I'm going to do with this than just this right here. This is just where I stopped this time. So, and I'm just going to pick different colors. Oh, I think These, it's pretty. It is, but they're just not speaking to me. <laughs> I don't know. I think I want to do red and greens, just not these red and greens. Yeah. So I like the more subdued red and greens. Okay. So, and then the Mary and Minty. I worked on that too. And it's another one that I stopped early and made a little pillow. I had a... I don't even remember what this fabric is, but I had a lot of trouble getting the white to show. Again, I switched. I tried every single white. And then I discovered another white a couple of days ago, 712. But that grew, B5200, just regular white. I had a lot of trouble with it showing, and the borders on this have a lot of white in them. And it was going to get lost. It's really cute. So I want to do it again on a different piece of fabric that the white will show up better and do the whole entire thing. Yeah. So anyway, so I stopped there. And then I got those three ornaments done on that blue fabric mm -hmm. that doesn't show the white very well, but I forgot those. I left those at home. Yeah. So those were my only finishes. Okay. What do you have? I finished my December trucking along. I haven't even started. <laughs> I don't remember where I was at before. Oh, there's... A lot of stuff coming through here. Yeah, it's, you need some thumbs up. Okay, there we go. Oh, there's white paper right here. Your so, friend keeps texting me. Oh, friend. <laughs> That's who called, too. Oh. She's only been so. with me all day today. <laughs> she wipes and, now. And now she has to talk to you. <laughs> yeah. That is so pretty. I have now, a, or Do you know how you're going to, like, complete it? I'll probably do it in two pieces because I, I left plenty of space oh, yeah, I think, did. between. So, and then I got a couple of things that I have finished in the past. I love that. That is so cute. So this one is measure twice, cut once. It's a prairie schooler design. Yeah. And the alphabet did not show up as well as I thought it would. I See, I but, like those more subtle, subdued colors. But it was quilty, so I yeah. I liked it. There's an, a couple of others in with this pattern. I even dated it. See? Yep. Um, that I would like to do. One is um, plan ahead. Mm -hmm. And ahead is all scrunched up. <laughs> <laughs> and the other one, I think, is um, simplify. I think it says simplify or something like that. And this is a previous finish, which I have not fully finished yet. This is a Priscilla design that she she gave out on her blog. So you can find the pattern there still. Yeah, I saw it there recently. Yeah. Yeah. It's still so. there. So I have the mega haul. You do? <laughs> <laughs> you do. saw my haul. It was the thread I, and the that fabric. Oh, I probably have too much, so I had stuff that came in like literally right I got this for Christmas. After. Oh, and no. the thing that goes with it. Yeah. So the machine is right here. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's the electric cutter. Mm -hmm. I almost tagged you in a post on Facebook in one of the groups that I'm in because somebody was asking about this. I haven't even used it yet. And so I was like, oh, I know somebody that has one. <laughs> <laughs> she was wanting to know if it was worth the It was on the sale. The money or something. I don't yeah. know. It so. was on sale before Christmas. Too. So. Okay, I don't know if this is officially haul, but let's just start with it. Well, so, I'm going to say one more thing about the Acme oh, okay, Quilt go Co. Ahead. 
my husband was asking me, well, what do you want for Christmas? And I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't need anything. So this popped up on my Facebook page that it was for sale. And I said, well, one of these would be nice. And he said, would you use it? I said, yes, to cut Nancy's fabric. <laughs> <laughs> and so he ordered it on a Monday before Christmas. It came on Tuesday. That's amazing. And then the, this came... This also came, and it came on Wednesday. So I think this was free with the cutter. So I was very impressed that, was fast. that it came so quickly. That's yeah. Fast. Well, when I came home from my trip, I got to go to the antique mall. <laughs> and I went straight upstairs. I didn't bother with anything downstairs. And I found a few things. So there are two of these. <sighs> Um, oh, that and it's is got the gorgeous. guys. I think they're fishing. So it looks like to me. That is so, so gorgeous. And I have a blue obsession, so this was perfect for me. Me too. Let me so. see this. There are two. Do you want one? Because I'm just gonna turn it into a bag. I don't need two bags with the same thing on it. Oh, I would love a bag. I I, I will um, gladly share. This is a table runner. Cute. Um. Very, very pretty. Are you going to make that into a bag, too? I have not decided yet because... It has two sides. Yeah. Um, yeah, I haven't decided yet. And I have the same situation with this one that I'm trying to decide. This one, these are pillowcases. Um, I love that pink, this lacy thing on the bottom. So Ooh. I don't I don't know how to turn this into a bag and not lose this. You could, like... Kind of like applique it onto something mm -hmm. else. So, but I, I'm i not a big pink person, but this just, like, was screaming at me. It's, those are pretty. Yeah. It's really, pretty. really pretty. Well, amazing work on these flowers. Like, seriously. Let's see if we can get the light better. There we go. They look gorgeous. Yeah. And then I already turned one into a bag. This one, that is so I don't cute. know what this, like, it almost felt like and looked like an old towel. That's what it looks like. And it was full of, I think a mouse had gotten to it. Like, oh. It had holes. So I cut, I just laid a, a clear, uh, an acrylic ruler on it to where I could get the design centered and the holes were all gone and then cut mm -hmm. and then threw the rest of it in the trash and then measured, decided how big I wanted it. Voila! That is so cute. And I am a teacher, so it was perfect. And the fabric on the and back is perfect. I had auditioned several different fabrics and ended up going with just a solid so that I didn't, to not take away from the design of the stitching. Everything else I laid up against here drew your eye to the design in the <laughs> fabric rather than the stitching. So, and then I did this on the back. So cute. So cute. And then Love the it. inside... It's just another red and white. This was a tutorial from Celeste Creates with this zipper top bag. So, and this goes together really fast, really, really fast. And this houses so my row. And I'm gonna start this tonight because that stitch along started today. Oh, I thought it starts tomorrow. Oh, well, she did a thing on it today, so oh, maybe that's why I was thinking that they started today. Yeah, I, I grabbed one. So I, I have could. the DMC, DMC bosses and this ivory 14 count Ada. I got white 14 count Ada to stitch it on. I'm pretty sure that's ivory. Mm -hmm. So anyway, how cute! I may start mine tonight. Then, how too. cute is that? Yeah. You don't want to hold my things, do you? Maybe. Okay. <laughs> Maybe you'll forget that. You uh, had those blue ones. <laughs> yeah, you forget. did have a lot of haul. <laughs> I do have oh a lot goodness. of Oh my goodness. She had a whole bag. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> Let me hold something while you show. <laughs> February trucking along. Came in. And I'm in the club, so I get the fabric and the floss and everything with it. Um, yeah, I think mine's, I got mine too. So. Uh, sad to say this will probably be one of the last ones that I do because like all of the pink and Valentine's Day is not my thing. So yeah. it'll get done, but it'll probably be last. I had pre-ordered this. Hello, Winter. Oh, that's cute. That's really a glare. So that's a 
Priscilla Blaine design, Stitching with the Housewives. Cute. Is that a snow cat? And I'm telling you, I'm addicted to snowmen, so that would be it. Um, this was on, I think this was flash sale. Beach house, I love all things beach and ocean. Cute. So that's a future jolly. Actually, this is best time of the year. Jolly What's Christmas. What's it say in there at the bottom? Christmas. Ah. Have a jolly Christmas. Oh, cute. So I'll be getting that one done. Mr. Marshmallow. A snowman. And I can't decide. I really like that on that limey green fabric. But that I've is seen, cute. I've seen a couple of people do it on a, like a pink, like a, almost oh. a hot pink, not a pastel -y pink, but a dark pink. And it looked cute. Are you sure you're Tina? Because you don't like pink. I know. I don't like <laughs> pink. So I'm like, hmm, maybe. We'll see. Because I'm not Time ready for them yet. Time to play with some dyes. These two I pre-ordered from, I kept being in here, JT Stitching. And it's they took forever to get to me. So these were supposed to be fall ones. Sweater weather. That one is really tiny, the picture. I don't think it's that tiny, though. And... Ugly sweater weather. <laughs> I'm not going to show that one yet. And right before I left, I got my stitch quarterly. So I'm sure lots of people have seen this by now. I um, haven't. Okay. Well, you're going to see it now. Yay. It came with, and apparently this is a bigger piece than it looks like. But Santa Baby. Cute. And the fabric. DMC floss. What color is that fabric? Is it kind of a bluish green? Yeah, it's kind of a green, um, like a mint green. It looks sparkly. Minty too. green opalescent. Yeah, it looks a little sparkly. And I already opened these because I wanted to see them. The, the Christmas floss bitties. <gasps> oh. So they're. <laughs> My lap's not good. We got to get our table back next time. There's a reindeer. Cute. And kind of shadowed. There we go. Santa. Something's behind him. I'm probably another one of him. They're a mess because another I had reindeer. To, I had to look at them. And Frosty. I love snowman. Oh, I might have said so that cute. already. I think you like snowman. I do. I love snowman. I would marry a snowman if I could. And Mrs. Claus. Cute. Those are cute though. Anyway, we got those, the pattern, the fabric, and the gloss. And it came in the bag? And a little needle case with a needle. Oh. Yeah, and it came in the bag. You get the little wow. bag, too. So I have plans to stay on in the stitch quarterly for as long as I can afford it because it's a good bag. I mean, you get a lot. You get everything. You got a lot of stuff there. And it's always packaged so nicely. It had this bow on it, and then you, you end up with a little bag that you can use for other projects later. I may have to check into that. So it was full, so you better hurry. You may have to get on the notify me list. I may have to. <laughs> What's next? Okay. Um, oh, I'm excited about this. I have this quilt kit, too. Maybe I'll bring that to retreat to oh. work on. So that's the prim and proper. Uh, cross stitch Cute. and I'm gonna be brave I ordered the 25 count Lugana that's the call for I don't I have not started collecting the floss yet so but it's a 25 count vintage uh, Lugana oh. it's the prim color so I got brave I'm gonna give it a try <laughs> well and I've been watching I watch a lot of floss too and one question that comes up a lot is, if I've always stitched on 14 count Ada, what should I stitch on next if I want to work my way up to linen? And this is what's usually recommended, yeah. 25 count Lugana. So okay. that's why I decided to try it. And I'm an idiot. I signed up for the sampler of the month, and it came in. So Who's that Fat Quarter Shop. Fat Quarter Shop. There's some other places doing it, too. So they send you yeah, the fabric for the first six months, all of the floss. Wow. That's for the entire series. 
And then you get the January pattern. And since this came in, in fact, it was yesterday, I got the February pattern. Oh, it's a pink house. <laughs> and well, a, blue, a blue house February. and then a pink house. <laughs> well, I forgot that I signed up for this and I ordered the January pattern. Oh, it's cute. So you can have that one. Oh, thank you. So I don't need two of them. <laughs> so, and in keeping with the Buy All the Blackbird, uh oh, <laughs> I bought uh, Sweet Land of Liberty. There's two here. Oh, there, there is two. two. Uh, and I want to stitch every single thing in that book. Every single thing in that book. I want to try a, a sampler. And I think this is going to be my first one. It is Salute to Abigail. Oh. There are oh. not many colors. Oh, I think it's wow. four, four colors. That is gorgeous. <laughs> Isn't that? Oh, my goodness. But I'm, I'm going to save it for when school's out. Yeah. So that I have lots of time to dedicate to it. But I think this might be my first sampler. Cool. I'm so excited. That I love all things patriotic. Oh, so pretty. I love all things patriotic. Uh, the Bells on Christmas Day. There's a sampler in there, too, that I just absolutely love, love, love. That um, Maybe it'll be my second one. We'll see. And then when I was ordering those, I saw the Sewing Club. So I decided to grab that one, too. There's a lot of drums in that one. And I really want a drum. I want more than one drum. Mm -hmm. And I watched um, Vanna Pfeiffer, the Twisted Stitcher. I don't know if I... I, I know. Drum. That's like the first thing you see when you open the book. I don't know drum. if I could make those. Like, she did a tutorial. I don't know. I may have to pay someone to make me one of these or multiples of these. I love them. Aren't they adorable? You stitch them also. Oh, <laughs> You'll make the drums if I stitch them? Yes. <laughs> yes. But there's just lots of little, Look at this. like a scissor box top. Oh, it, it's so cute. Yeah, I can see why you would. Where did, did you order this? You yeah, said? I ordered it. I ordered it on Amazon, but it came from a, a shop. Cute, cute, cute. I know, isn't there? Like tons. I'm looking for another drum. <laughs> There's more than one in there. Isn't that cute too? Yes. There's a house. Mm -hmm. It's like a pin cushion. Or sure they're using it as a pin cushion. Oh. There it is. Oh. I know there's another. There are several <laughs> drums in there. It's in pink. <laughs> <laughs> I love that one. I may have to order this book. There, where's there's that another one? drum. I love those. Cute. And the last one, lots of people are getting this one. Winds of Autumn. I'm I, still looking at this one. I love just about Oh, here's another drum. <laughs> <laughs> that one's cute. Yeah, I like the birds. I love just about everything in this one, too. And there's another sampler in this one that I really liked. Oh, I love this one. I love owls. So I will have to do that one. There's another drum. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, oh, where is that? It's a sister's love. And I thought if I do this one, mm -hmm. if I have room, I have one, two, three sisters. And maybe I can put all of their names on there. Is that right? Three? <laughs> I have no three, sisters. Connie, Amy, yeah, three. So, anyway, so do you want, do you want to look at that one? <laughs> I better not. Did you show this one, Bells and, on Christmas Day? Oh, I don't know. Did I? Bells on Christmas Day. So, I think for, oh, look at this one. Um, This is so economical to buy the book rather than oh, yeah. separate if, patterns. If there are yeah. plenty of patterns I mean, patterns I know there are like. some that you can't. Yeah, you know, you have to buy the pattern. It's not in the book, but for the amount of patterns that this you get cool. in the book, 
Like it's you get a lot for a lot of bang for your buck. Look at the rickrack on the edge of that. And is that the ones at the bottom? I love everything in that book. I'm not kidding. Um, where is the one? That Patchwork I'm pumpkin. Here. I love that one. <laughs> I think I said that about all of them. <laughs> There's not enough time Look to at stitch the, all the, the things. The pumpkins yes. have quilt blocks in them. The pumpkin has quilt blocks in mm -hmm. it, I should say. That was the, the Christmas one sampler that I really liked. The bells on Christmas Day. Clear. Yeah, that's pretty. Yeah. Anywho, I learned how to do this stitch, this eyelet stitch. Uh -huh. It's easy. Oh, look at this. This is first winds of autumn. Yeah, I haven't learned, looked at a tutorial on making the strawberry yet either, but I don't think um, they'd be hard. Well, another floss to uh, Michelle from Mama Loves You GB. She kind of showed a little bit with a piece of paper. Mm -hmm. how you would do it and it didn't look hard there's the pattern yeah so. yeah the so drum didn't pretty. look hard just very tedious you know you got to be slow like the feathered star thing that took me four hours like <laughs> i i have to i told you that's not a night before <laughs> you can't wait till you the know, night before um, to do that one you know it's one of those things you got to slow down take your time and if you want it to look decent. And right. I'm, I'm kind of the get her done girl. <laughs> Sometimes you have to be patient and I wait. The, um, this one, Sew by Row, they are starting a quilt um, block of the month. Block of the month. Soon. I guess it would be Row of the Month, mm -hmm. I would guess. But it is starting this year sometime. Maybe March. I was looking at it the other day and I thought, oh, I need to do that because I love this pattern. I have the, I actually have the quilt pattern for it too. I could I do it on my own. I don't. <laughs> Instead of ordering okay. the the um, quilt kit. So are you going to wait until tomorrow to start that one? I don't know. Okay. I need, I need to start a new start today because I haven't. <laughs> I, I wanted need to, to do. Start start. I wanted to do a whole bunch of new starts, and <laughs> I have um, a pattern for. It's not a drum, but it's a square, and then it's called block. I think it's called block party, and I hands on design, and I got the sewing one, but they have a whole bunch of other ones, mm -hmm. and I saw on I read on the back that it was a series. So I had to get online and see what else they have. They have a dog. They have a cat. They have a bee. They have, of course, the ones I, I put two in my basket to order or in my cart to order. And I can't think of what they are. <laughs> it, I may have put the dog in, in the basket because it had puppy dogs on it that kind of looked like Sadie. <laughs> I have my whole January planned. And I'll have to look. I don't remember if I put that on Tuesday or Wednesday. So are you going to stitch I put on a certain day? Yeah, of, a certain thing. like um, A different thing every day of the month? or Yes. Well, no, every day of the week. Every day so like week. Sundays is Snow Village. Okay. And Saturday is Anniversaries of the Heart. That way I can, I want to be able to knock out one of those a month. That'll, okay. That's all year. But like... One day a week is sew by row. One day a week is my January truck. One day a week is Tinker Bell. One day a week is something else. That's and it, whatever time I get is the time I get. Because this sounds terrible, but my time after work, some days it's two hours and some days it's six hours. It just depends on yeah. if I get to leave at 3.30. Yeah. I have a new, another a new homebound student starting to supposed to start today but I said I can't start her until tomorrow so that puts me back at not leaving until about five o'clock yeah so but that's only going to be for two weeks well that's not too bad so it's a quarantine again okay that's not too bad no not too bad yeah yeah I w listed everything I wanted to work on this year and of course I downloaded the UFO challenge sheet from American Patchwork American Patchwork 
and so I printed those off and I printed off like three copies <laughs> <laughs> and so one of them I wanted is cross stitch mm -hmm. well I filled that more than I have a long I didn't list. print that off but I went into it with you know we do the UFO list for the guild yeah so I kind of went into it that with that kind of that mentality what six things do I want to have done mm -hmm. this year yeah and how am I gonna get those six things done yeah and and I didn't make them all big things either so it's just a little bit of a variety. I have more than six things I want to get done <laughs> well we do six for six guild every for guild. Other month yeah. so yeah and I figure so. if I get us something done quicker then that just gives me more time to work on something else or and you can switch it out start something else because there's I have a lot of stuff that I've started and a lot of stuff that I want to start so. yeah I want to start some stockings Christmas stockings and I ordered one from eBay I think that I want to do for Chris and I ordered it before Christmas and it hasn't come yet so I really feel like I should do those for my grandkids but they may have children of their own by the time I get them done <laughs> <laughs> that's terrible especially since Evelyn's not even a year old yet <laughs> yeah I started one for myself years ago I showed the ones I did for my mom and dad and I did one for my son and then I started one for myself that is the sewing room. It was in um, a cross-stitch magazine years ago. And it's still, I put it in a scroll frame because it's on linen. And it's still in the scroll frame. <laughs> um, the only thing is I had to order another magazine because <laughs> the Roomba <laughs> tore up my Oops. magazine. Oops. <laughs> so I, it tore up, mm -hmm. I had it fold up. Uh, folded for the page uh -huh. that I was working on and left it laying on the floor in the room that ate it. So I had to order a new one. Uh, I'm kind of a slow stitcher, but I'm figuring things. I mean, I didn't start until July of this year, so yeah. I'm still very newbie, but I have figured out something recently that works for me. And some people may not think this is speeds up the process, but it does. I've been making a working copy and yeah. I take my highlighter and I'm marking and I this so now I'm not constantly okay row I got four rows done yeah. and counting four rows on my chart and figuring I spent a lot of time doing that yeah and I just keep I'm usually sitting at the table or I have like one of those TV tables in front of my chair and I just grab it and mark it and then I can just keep going and I've been able to stitch faster now that I have a working copy sitting there yeah. and I can just highlight the crud this out of one, it this one I I enlarged because it is very small I had to do that to my Tinkerbell pattern and too. it I mean it is very hard to see some of those symbols yeah. it's all in black and white yep so it some of the symbols I have a hard time seeing so I enlarged it this is where I'm, I'm yep. I did that right with here. Tinkerbell I enlarged it and then I have a working copy that I can yeah. just mark now and in my bag I noticed last night I did have a highlighter in here like so why am I not why, my highlighter. Am using it? Why am I not using it? Because I had a hard time figuring out where I was. Mm -hmm. and Well, I had to figure out where someone else was. Yeah, yeah. So I haven't stitched on my Disney castle for a while. I need to put did that Did you work in. on that? So she did? No. Oh, okay. It's in my bag with all my... Don't be trying to run off with my book there. I see you, what kept, book? you kept that set what aside. Book? <laughs> I want to work on these two, these stitch cards. Oh, I know I have all of and those. I haven't. There's another one that I haven't ordered yet. But I keep yeah. thinking I'm going to have all this time when school gets out. <laughs> yeah, this one I would like to do. Do you know how many of this skeins of this green you need? Probably ten. Six. Do you have this one? Like here in the shop? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna yeah. have to get that one when. And the light when aqua. I come Saturday. The the teal there's six the light aqua there's four so it's a lot of that what are you stitching color. that on something white and <laughs> as i say this is on white probably yeah. 14 count i didn't know yeah. if you were doing white too i'm not real fond of just white white i like maybe an ivory or a, a very light cream 
I'm just not a big fan of white white. I, with this, I think it would just look cleaner if it was on white. It's not going to look so clean when I get done with it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Well, <laughs> I have to be really careful. The cat, if I've got coffee or anything sitting nearby, the cat thinks it's her duty to climb around on everything. <laughs> I'm paranoid she's going to spill something on my stuff. Yeah. Get out of there! <laughs> There's coffee there! You're going to smell it! <laughs> and she turns around and looks at me like, you talking to me? <laughs> oh, animals. No, I wanted to take a picture of the front of that book so oh. I could order it. So, gotcha. The sewing club is what we're talking about. <laughs> yeah, She's she afraid kept, I'm going to steal she it. She kept that one I, over I don't here know why on, she would think I would her steal her it. Side. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. I'll put it back down here. <laughs> so, what else? That's, that's um, all of my mess. You had a lot of haul. I did. You had some And questions. I have stuff coming, too. Cool. I have decided, <laughs> again, I think I have all the time <laughs> in the world, I want to stitch all of the Prairie School or Santa. All of them? Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. And they started in 1984. I was going to say, I they started a long time ago. I did my You're research. A little so, If you can find all the charts. Yeah, that's going to be, I may have to, like, it on eBay or something like that to uh, de stashing sites or you know, whatever. Yeah. So we'll see. Yeah, but I think that would be yeah. kind of cool to have a collection of something. Yeah, so that would. I'm not big on Santa's. I have a few ordered. Oh, I see. I like I like Snowman the most, but then Santa would come in pretty close second. And if I did sock stockings. <laughs> <laughs> uh, stockings for the grandkids that's they would probably be Santas or snowmen yeah because that's because most of them are boys mm -hmm. true they're all most all boys three boys one girl and the oldest boy will be 13 in March so. <laughs> my baby's growing up yeah they tend to do that yeah yep his voice has already changed. Oh my goodness. Yeah. We, we uh, FaceTimed on Christmas Day. And I could... He, so we talk a lot, like, just chatting. We don't, like, video very often. Mm -hmm. And he has uh, Messenger for Kids. So I talk to him pretty regularly on Messenger for Kids. So we've got the, the video call up. And I, and I can see my son. And I hear this voice in the background. And it sounds like my daughter-in-law's brother. <laughs> and I'm like, is Tyler there? And he goes, Mom, that's your grandson. And I'm like, ah! <laughs> oh, my. So, yeah, he's, his voice has changed, and he's got that that grown up. And he sounds like his uncle. He sounds like wow. Uncle Tyler. So, wow. Yeah. Yeah, I thought Tyler was there. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm. So, uh, we never, I never talk about the quilts behind us. The quilt behind us. Um, I am a Studio 180 certified instructor, and as an instructor, um, I do, um, I test patterns, and this was a test pattern for another Studio 180 instructor, and she wrote a book using the, um, corner, some of the corner pop rulers, which this part right here make, is part of the corner pop. I love and, this unit right here. Yeah. Actually, this is the square, or the, this is the unit, and then you, cor you oh, and it pop the corners. Oh, and yeah, this and is it, the secondary design then? Yeah. Oh, wow. So you pop the corners using the ruler, and then you... I have that ruler. Pieces. Corner pop? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, this is uh, corner pop three, I believe, because of the, um, I think it's like one to three. Maybe pretty. one to two. You're anyway. so good at picking colors to go together. Well, this was supposed to be a scrappy. It's so. very scrappy, and but it looks unified, too. I think the these um, kind of neutrals, darker neutrals, mm -hmm. kind of help bring it together. Plus, all these there fabrics are, were in the same line. There so. are places for the eye to rest. Yeah. That's what that quilt it's, is. It almost looks like a 
when you look at it in the, the video, like a funky star. Uh-huh. It does. Mm -hmm. I like it. So is she going to release this as just a pattern? Um, it's She has just recently received her books, so she will be selling her books. And I was supposed to get a copy of the book, but cool. I haven't got it yet. So cool. I'm assuming that it's partly mail delay, because I know there is a lot of mail delay. And I get to be the only student in the class on Saturday, so I get the teacher's undivided <laughs> attention. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Starting Tucker University mm -hmm. this weekend. On Friday, I have two students. Saturday, I have one. So, um, been working on getting ready for that. So that it's been fun to actually. Um, we're using the Tucker Trimmer one and going through all you can do with it. So it's yeah, been fun. You hadn't to, been back very long from training when we kind of like shut things down, right? Right. So you haven't really right. got to do anything with what you learned. No, I came back from training. And like the next week or week after, uh, within a couple weeks, we had our guild meeting and I did a presentation at, at our Salem guild meeting and talked about the training and showed everything that we did that week. It was like massive overload <laughs> of sewing. That was early and, March. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was the end of February I went and um, we had, when, as soon as we got back, we had the shop hop. And then after that, I did the Quilt Guild meeting, and not long after that, we shut down. Mm -hmm. So I was supposed to teach another class at the Rolla Guild, and all of our classes were canceled last year, but they do have me scheduled for this year in August to teach. So, And that's what I was supposed to do last year. They just moved everything, moved everything a year back. So, so I'm excited to start teaching Tucker University. Um, two of the certified instructors from early on came up with this program so that um, people could teach the the rulers, the tools of Studio 180 Design. And that we go through, I don't remember, like 12, 11 or 12 in the first year. So we are starting freshman year, so we are starting with the basics, the basic ones. And they also have a sophomore and junior year. They don't have senior year ready yet. So, <laughs> oh, they're still working that out. They are. They are. So it's it's fairly new. Mm -hmm. I mean, it hasn't yeah, been around like too long. The last time I went to Quilt Market, I did talk to them about it, and um, they do what they call schoolhouse, where you go to these little classes, like 15, 20 minute sessions, and then you move to something else, and it's like all morning so you get a whole lot of information and so I went to one and then I went and talked to them at their booth mm -hmm. about it about Tucker University because I heard about it I just didn't know what all was involved so it's kind of expensive to go through it all because you have to have the rulers and a few years ago we did at the shop we did a ruler of the month club and so people had bought most of the rulers yeah I had all the Two or three. One or two, yeah. yeah. Not very many. I didn't have to, to purchase very many. Yeah. So I hope it will be fun. What do you think? You'll learn a lot. Should be. Yep. So what is oh, looking at that quilt, me. it looks like something's wrong. Right in here. Is that see how those line up? And yep. this one doesn't. And neither does the one. one. So are they supposed to be every other one? I don't know. Are they all supposed to go this direction? Or were, were these? I don't two? know. Because <laughs> this or row, were, this, these line up. And that lines up going this way. I may have to, I may have to go back and look. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it just looks different. <laughs> I don't know either. But these all, these all met together though. These all came together. They're correct colors. I don't know. Who knows? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Now it's going to bug you. Now it's going to bug you. <laughs> until I figure it out. <sighs> Maybe it's supposed to be like that. Maybe. I don't know. Because this is a unit. 
I don't know. I don't know either. It goes up, sideways. <laughs> I'm lost. We'll get back to you on that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, gosh, we talked over an hour. Yeah. So. Okay. Very good. Okay. We will see you back in a couple weeks. A couple weeks. Um, leave a comment. Yes, today is January 5th, so mid-January. Mid-January, before the retreat. Yes, before the retreat. Before the retreat. So. so, we will see you in a couple weeks. Thanks for watching. Um, hope you like and our video. Hit and, the like button. And subscribe. Subscribe. And leave a comment. We would love to hear mm -hmm. your comments. Even if you just say hi, that would be great. So... And that's it. Okay. All right. See you in a couple weeks. Bye. Bye.